Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the draw guide. It's going to be a separate part that gets attached to the um, table. So we're going to start by adding a new component. Right click, add new component. This one's going to be called draw guide. And we're going to start modeling down on the um, origins. If you can't see the origins, um, check that it's not hidden with the eyeball up top there um, and we're going to choose a plane to draw on so we'll start drawing I'm going to choose this plane and we're going to do a series of rectangles we'll dimension these afterwards we'll just draw one kind of long rectangle like that one in between and one that matches the bottom one and then we can put some dimensions on it Remember you can press D for dimension as the shortcut or come down under your create menu and we're going to do 19 for this one and then 19 for the top one you can click on this bottom one if you want it to reference and 16 for the middle one we're going to do 34 for the length and this one here, the length will be 18. Now these two here should be the same length. So if I drag this one in line with the other one, um, it should snap together. If not, you can use, um, it would be the collinear constraint. So this one should be collinear to this one. Just press escape and try that again. So the line to the line. You can see it's turned it black. Finish that sketch there. And we're going to extrude. So um, E for extrude or in your modify menu. You never find it, so it's in the create menu. I'm going to select the top and the bottom and I'm going to make this one 260. Click OK. Now we want to use that um, sketch again, so find your sketch in the sketches folder and uh, click the eyeball to make it visible and then extrude again and this one here to make sure you select the right one, there it is, um, 235 so you'll see that this one actually doesn't go as far um, and it will match the side of your rail. Once we've done that, we're going to do the holes where we would attach this. So this is where the draw runner will slide through. We're going to click the center um, surface there, and we would drill some holes. So when we're in woodwork, we're going to drill some holes in here to uh, for screws to go through. Um, I'm going to use the line to go through the center. I'm going to press escape and then select the line and make it a construction one. And then with the circle tool, I'm going to put one right in the center at four and a half millimeters. Um, C for another circle, um, 4.5. And C again for circle, 4.5. And it doesn't really matter where we dimension these so from the center of the circle in I might make it 30 millimeters just from each end to make it consistent finish sketch extrude and select all the circles we can extrude it through all so drag it in the backwards direction and click all and then we're going to put a chamfer on which is equivalent to our countersink so the chamfer let's click the edge of each circle and press three and enter and that's our draw guide finished so make sure you do a save and we can place this in position now it's kind of been drawn back to front and this is our front of our cabinet and this is will be the front of the slide so um, I can drag that one up and I can move it so the move tool 
it's under the modifier menu. You don't need to get this perfect, you just it's easier if it's facing the, the right direction. Now this sketch here um, is this one, so I'm gonna hide it. Probably should have done that first. Um, and it's gonna sit in here, so let's find a place to join it to. Um, the logical place to join it, I'd say, would be to hover in the centre of this. Let's try that, um, the centre of the circle. So the centre of the piece there. Brings together the two pieces, look at it from the top. And check that it's sitting flush on here, which it is. So then click OK and that's in the correct position. Now we want two of these, so we're going to right click on the draw guide and copy it. And then come right up to the top, copy table, paste that. It's a paste, not a paste new, because we want to keep these the same. And we're going to rotate this one 180 degrees, and then we're going to do the same joining as we did on the other side. So the center of that circle to the center of the other side rail. Now you notice we did one thing here that um, is kind of missing. Like these two pieces overlap, and there's a section in here where we'll have to cut it out in woodwork. So we can either do that now, we could leave it like this for the model's sake, but for, for our planning, we want to know how far that is cut back in. So from that edge to that edge is 25 millimeters. If we open one of these now, so it's activated already, um, and we come down and sketch on this surface here, we might want to hide the rails and the legs here. So if we go down the list here and just hide what's here, so we don't want to reference any of those, and we want to cut out now. Twenty-five millimeters in. And the other side, which I didn't show you measuring, was eighteen millimeters. So finish sketch and extrude. Click that surface and drag it down right through the model. Now once I reactivate all the other components, you see that kind of cutout will miss the leg. And creates how that would sit. Um, it's already um, updated this side because it's a direct copy of the component. So let's save it at that point and um, we'll put it together in our next video.